Now back to Property Source Radio with your hosts, Brenna and Pat, on Sports Radio 950 ESPN. I think we're going to change it to the Sharon and Sharon show with your host, Sharon and Sharon. <laughs> Thanks again for joining us this morning on Property Source Radio. I'm Brenna Hartman, the Fixie Chick. 222-6397 is our number. Pit coin on fire this morning. How many cups of coffee have you had? Three. Count them. Rock it. <laughs> It's great. It's story time, folks, and we want to hear some good stuff. We're talking about mattresses, ferrets. What else you got? What, yeah, do we, got, we have a good story, right? Okay, the mattress story. We had a customer we were working with and thought that we found the perfect fit house for her. And for whatever reason, she was um, lamenting over the size of the master bedroom. And she said, listen, I've moved six kids, seven ferrets, three husbands, and one king-size bed that's lasted longer than the marriage is. <laughs> I'm not getting rid of it now for this house. Really? <laughs> <Yes>. Wow. <laughs> I love her spirit. We got to have her on the show. Three husbands, rock on, six kids, and a yep. king-size bed. I and love seven it. ferrets. And seven uh, ferrets. That would stink, I think. Yeah, I don't like them. I'm sorry, just personal well, preference. I know. I'm yeah. just thinking animals in general. Yeah, yeah, True. <laughs> I can't even keep myself from not smelling. I have a bird, and it's the best pet ever. Yeah, don't, don't they even if too? you don't feed it for like a week, it still lives. It's really? Great. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm kidding. Okay. I feed the bird every day. Story time. Do story we want to, time. Do, do you want to tell another story? Which one wants to take Sharon or Sharon? Do you want? To, which I one? can tell you a story. Okay, good. I'm because excited. I know you like driving on the thruway. So yeah. I'll tell you a story about driving. <laughs> At high rates of speed. That's right. Oh, yeah. I know. How do you fail Easy Pass? But anyway, <laughs> so once upon a time, I had an out of town client. Okay. And I was driving her around, um, actually from Georgia, lovely, lovely girl. And I'm driving her around, and we hear this little click click, 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 click. So I go to my resources and I say, oh, it's probably just the blower motor. I don't know what I was thinking, and I wasn't worried about it. We show a house, we come back out, and we understand what the clicking is. There's a fork wrapped around my tire. Like, I came to the fork in the road, and I ran it over, okay? Really? Yes. Really? But don't worry, because the driver's ed all came back to me, and I'm like, if you run over a nail, you keep the nail in. So I said, I will keep the fork in. I said, we will be fine. This is what the manual says. This is what we're going to do. So we're driving along, and the click, click, click. So I just turned up the blower so you couldn't hear the click. And we got to the corner, um, and we're in Greece, and we're on Lad and Mount Reed. For all of our Greece listeners out there, dial in and say you love Greece. Um, Anyway, so we're stopped at the light, and I'm saying, she's like, oh, this is a beautiful church. And I'm like, yes, it was a stop for the Underground Railroad, and everything is fine. I take a left-hand turn, and it's all over. And she goes, you done lost your fork. (laughs) (laughs) I look out the rearview mirror, and I see the fork hit the pavement behind me. So we're coasting, and we're going over the 390 Interpass with losing air rapidly. And I'm like, oh my goodness gracious. So we pull over, and we just make it into a side street, and I'm just sitting there going, oh my gosh, what am I going to do? And lo and behold, the the homeowner pulls in. So my I did not have the child locks on, so my client rolls down the window before I can do anything about it and says, sir, 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 can you help me? Well, it turns out he could. And he changed the tire. Talk about being grateful. But uh-huh. as he changes the tire, and he served in the military. If you're out there, thank you for your service. I did. Go ahead. Thank you for your service. You're welcome. So <laughs> he about gets Pat. out there. I know. Eventually, in the countertops. So eventually, uh-huh. he changes the whole tire. But as he gets the spare, he sees my real estate signs and he says, I'm thinking about getting into real estate. So I said, Here is my card. You absolutely call me. And he hasn't yet, but I'm still oh. here. Keller Williams Realty. <laughs> All right. But what that's a nice my story of the fork in the road. I ran it over. You done lost your fork, girl. You done lost your fork. And you know, you try to explain that to your husband, Bob, if you're out there listening. You're a very patient man. Um, and yeah, he's but, like, you did what? You did what? <laughs> yeah, see, th- those stories are kind of like, I, I, you can't make that up. You just can't make up a story like that. You can't. Yeah. I, I uh, My brother and I had a house together years ago, and I used to come home and tell him these crazy stories, much like not I never had the fork thing, but m- many of these weird stories. And he would say, you you can't make this crap up. You've you got to be telling the truth because, you know, you, you doubt it. You know, you tell you come home and you got to just tell somebody about the crazy stories. Right. <laughs> Absolutely. That's a true story. <laughs> and, you know, I know my brother, I would always tell him that. And he would say, you know, I, I can't believe it, but I have to believe it because it's too crazy to make up. 
Yeah, it, it wraps right around the tire. I'm here to tell you. And so that whole nail thing, it might work with a nail, but well, not with a fork. So don't try this at home. Do you know if it was stainless steel or if it was silver? Because you could have stopped if it was silver. And uh, yeah, it up. I don't know. You know? I picked sure. it up. Pat okay. would have picked it up and tried yeah. to sell it on the CL. Yeah. So what is the craziest question you've ever been asked as a realtor by a potential client? We had another realtor's customer actually call our office and ask if we could let them know what the sales tax was going to be on this on the purchase of their house. Cool. Hmm. Did you tell them a lot? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Write a separate check to Sharon. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Sharon's vacation fund. Yeah. Oh, boy. That's a good one. Cool. So let me ask you this. We've got a few, min- few more minutes left in our show this morning. It's been Again, just great having you here. Can you tell us a little bit more about how people can get a hold of you other than going to propertysourceradio.com and clicking on our blog and you can find Sharon's website right there. Maybe you could give out your numbers and any other information that uh, our listeners need to know. Sure. Sharon Quarter at uh, Keller Williams Realty, 362-8999 or my website, SharonQ.com. Great. Thank you. And you would be in charge of helping recruit realtors Correct. Am Growth I, am I is part that? of it. Absolutely. Okay. So if anybody's interested in learning about being a business owner in, betcha. in the real realtor market within Keller Williams, they should be contacting you how? 362-8956. I love it. Thank you. Absolutely. Thanks again so much for joining us this morning. Thank you. We promise we'll be back next week, right, Pat? With I'm more crazy be. stories. Amen. Maybe we'll have a crazy story about our get-together tonight, our Ooh. little family picnic. Good. Good, I like it. Sound good to you? Yeah. All have right. a good day. In the middle of in the middle of the week, make sure you go to the propertysourceradio.com website where you can find home improvement directory, real estate information, rentals, and of course you can email Pat or I any ideas you have for an upcoming show or questions you might want us to cover on the show. Have a great week.